So we're back and we have one little thing to take care of before the next stage. Because I'm silly and did not notice my life bar going down in the Swordman video, we're going to fight him again. Holy shit, yes, I did notice that because you were definitely damaged when you did this stun move, which also damages. Yes, I'm silly, but I can actually pull off no damage this time. It's actually not that hard. Wow. As, as, I, as I've discovered, if you're just walking, you'll be able to avoid him hitting you, and then you just have to jump to avoid the shock. Uh, it's still relatively tight timing, but uh, it is definitely doable. And how you dodge the swords is going to depend on where he is on the screen. Yeah, it is definitely one of the better boss fights in this game. Very definitely. If all of the boss fights were of this level of quality, I would always, uh, almost be able to consider this game uh, halfway good. So, there's only one way to follow up a good boss, and that... And that way is with... A fucking bad one? Excellent! You win! Yes, I knew it! Uh, well, I would have been right 90% of the time anyway. What if you had said that in the last video, though? Then you would have been, I guess, kind of wrong. Yeah, because, as said, um, Gravity Man uh, and Assault Man is almost good. Uh, Gravity Man is the next one, I'm sorry, but he's... <laughs> there goes the... Surprise. He is kind of bad, okay? I'm sorry for spoiling the surprise, but... Oh, okay. they would have guessed as soon as they saw the level, anyhow. Yeah, uh, like, they calling the... Oh, it's just uh, the heavy gravity zone. So might be, might be, might be gravity, man. I, I'm not exactly 100% sure. By the way, if anyone is wondering, I'm still very fucking drunk right now. Also, I got a friend over. He might, uh, he might comment, uh, time to time. Yeah, and we're drinking beer right now. Yeah, here's the network transmission. It's a fucking bad game. Here's a mystery there that will sometimes give you a fast gauge subchip. Yeah, and also something since you fly have 400 cent, which you can't fucking use because it's almost useless. Yeah, so mystery much data. Yeah, I get it. That's very, very good joke. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Stop drinking all of my beer. So yeah. this level might be kind of dangerous because of the gravity thing. It's not. Oh hey, here's a good unlocker mystery to place thing. A gold fist. Wow, and the first uh, best cannon chip. Yes, this is the third and final cannon dumb enemy. It will drop the best chip in the game, the mega cannon. Wow, and the second unlock damage. Wow, wow, wow. HP memory, nice. So, yeah, this level, this level is pretty fucking terrible, I think, because it has this gimmick, which you are going to explain to us, because I'm drunk. Yes, um, the, there are certain floor panels, these purple ones are an example, they will lessen how high you're able to jump, and, yeah. you know, if it were combined with strong enemies, it wouldn't be so bad, but here it's combined with bad platforming, and here's a Hammer Joe. Yeah, the, the, the thing is, you know, you have a Mega Man 5's Gravity Man level. And when you're playing Mega Man 5, it's a high point of the game. Because uh, it's very, very creative, very walking on the ceiling and such. And there are enemies that flip with you and all that. And it's pretty fucking good. Yeah, also, it, here's it's a new pretty fucking cool. Uh, even my friend, who only saw my Let's Plays, he agrees that this is pretty fucking cool. And here... You have panels that basically make you jump less high. Wow, well, holy shit! It's really fucking bad! Yeah, you cannot walk on the ceiling here. It's just bad. It's really fucking bad as a gimmick. Yeah, you just, you just jump less high. Wow. It's not cool. Seriously, I hate this fucking gimmick. Because it's not even a gimmick, it's just fucking bad. It's lazy, it's shit. Can't say the second area does it any better. Mhm. Mm I mean, I didn't want to talk over you, but uh, what is there to say? It's bad. Look well, at I could this. point out the program advances. Do it. So yes, you saw it about 30 seconds ago, but spreader bubble spread heat spread makes 
a completely worthless Giga Death program advance in. You just did a program advance? What? You did? Seriously? <laughs> I didn't even notice, holy shit! Oh. Oh, well, yes. it has the same animation as the spreader chip. Oh, well, that might explain a lot. Also, you're actually walking on the ceiling now, as my friend commands. Holy shit, that's actually really fucking good. Oh, except it's not because it's still network transmission. Yeah, it's still network transmission. <laughs> wow. Well, See, it's well, not a surprise it? that this is going to be the Gravity Man stage, because I wonder what gimmick they're stealing this time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, 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 it's Gravity Man. Also, I have no idea why that Mr. Yeah has a Recover 80 when it's the most common recovery chip in the game. Yeah, uh, I also have no idea why they uh, thought uh, they were uh, complied to bring back Hammer Juice, which are like the worst enemy ever, and I hate them, because you always have to wait, and wait, uh, you don't have no. Metal Braids friend who is over here because Metal Braids are Mega Man 3 and Hammer Joe is a Mega Man 4. How can you be so misinformed? <laughs> I don't know, he thought there was another game. <laughs> <laughs> he almost maybe thought this game was good. <laughs> it's no, interesting to note though that almost all of your chips are reversed with you. Like, I would have thought they'd have gotten lazy there, but I guess not. Oh, but this guy is still an asshole. Yeah, of course. Always an asshole. And yeah, that was almost a stage uh, with almost a gimmick which had almost enemies which... And Iceman is still cool. Wow, you're, uh, you're cool. cool. Uh, I see what you did there, if you understand what I mean. Uh, I, you know, I know, I recycled that, I apologize. Uh, yeah, it was a very good joke. Uh, um, I I wish you to always stay frosty <laughs> with that joke. So now let's finally show off the punch program advance well, against the boss. Punch will one hit him? No, probably will not. Gravity man, Octavata now commencing exterminating program. It's just a filler boss, so don't worry about it. Yeah, it's completely and utterly um, inconsequential, that's the word. And um, actually, one of the better bosses in this game, I think. And, Are you uh, sure? Because I don't really, really hate this guy. Um, I think he has a consistent strategy and um, a, a very consistent way of fighting him with a gimmick that is also very consistent and he always stays there he has no bullshit gimmick of like teleporting around or anything um, you can very easily see when you are able to hit him and uh, how to do damage so you know it is a boss I guess that so. is designed in a way that is actually Almost intuitive. Well, it is, I think. But it takes forever, and this attack is completely pointless because it does nothing. Yeah, uh, it, it it takes a while. Well, indeed, indeed it does. And <laughs> wow, if it, <laughs> you push it to it, it really doesn't do anything. And never, never figured that one out. But um, uh, yeah, you you have to think about a little. What do you do? like? Uh, hit him when his arms do not block the attack. Yeah, very obviously. And um, uh, dodge his attacks at the same time. So yeah, as I said, this is a boss that has a design. Now get him a real attack. No, yeah. Not like this one. This is almost unavoidable, I think. Mm, almost, but. Um, I think it still is avoidable and it, it kind of plays into the way this game is designed where you can uh, pull off uh, that harder and harder and more damaging combos the more you go along so um, the boss does it too so you're almost expected to save your best for last so um, the, the tactic you are expected to, with, to develop against this boss is uh, start out weakly and as soon as he starts to des be desperate 
and uh, pull out four of the gravity wells at once that track you, then you unload your chips. Mm -hmm. So this is a uh, very consistent strategy which you can apply all the time. So I cannot really hate this boss, you know. Also worth noting is that the Zenny reward depends on how long you take to kill him. <laughs>